It's so good to see you. And this is and such an, an interesting take on, on Dickens, isn't it? Brilliant. Where all the characters are getting mashed up together. Absolutely brilliant. I think Tony Jordan's a genius, and I think it's the most fantastic idea. And when I was offered it, I had 12 episodes came into the house. And I read them, I mean, I couldn't stop. Well, she's a Makes chancer sense. and, yeah. uh, and uh, a petty thief, a healer a little bit. She can do medicine and she really can do it. But she always likes to be paid in gin. Yes. <laughs> That's what I get paid in. And I don't drink. <laughs> I, I you, really don't you drink. You don't, no. you have to pretend. I have to watch all the people I know who do drink. <laughs> and then just copy them the yeah, way that they sure. are. So really, it was, it was a, a, a dream job to do. It was oh, something it was that you really wanted job. to do. Really gorgeous job. And I love... Um, the whole look of it, you know, the set, it's unbelievably fantastic by mm. Michael Ralph. And the costumes, I don't know, there isn't one of me now, but I think I look a bit like a walking tea cosy because... You do. The dress is quite it's, sticky yes. out. Yeah. No, very much so. It is like a yeah. tea cosy, I, I get that completely. <laughs> absolutely, and what a great cast that you've got Wonderful cast. And some of the young ones who I didn't mm. know before are absolutely brilliant. And do you like, I mean, you know, it's on, it's on obviously on Wednesdays, 8 o'clock on BBC mm. One. Do you sit and watch yourself? Do you enjoy and sit and watch it? Is no. It, no. Do you not like to I do I have that? to have a little distance. Right. Um, and I prefer to do it in a darkened room, perhaps with a flannel over my head. <laughs> it's Just awful. Kind of... I mean, do you like watching yourself? No, that's why I do like You're telly. live all the time. I know, time. it's fantastic, then you don't need to, which yeah. is probably a, an absolute bonus, I, I yeah. would say. How is your lovely husband? My How lovely husband is great. He's absolutely terrific. Yeah, he's just, he's just, yeah. enjoying, he's just enjoying life now, because I know he's kind he of does. taken a back, a back step from acting, hasn't he? Through choice. Yes, he yeah. really, really doesn't want to do any more. Oh. Um, I mean, he, he loved all... He's done so many years and, Amazing. and, and so much work. Yeah. No, the golf is now high on the agenda. Good for him. Good for him to be enjoying himself. I think it's great. And look, they tell me there's going to be like a, a reunion of the Collins sisters, if you want to say. You and Joan Collins are going to be working together. Joan, What's yeah. happening there? We last worked together um, in the 80s, about uh, 35 years ago, something like that. Right. Played two showgirls. Ah. And I really enjoyed working with her. I mean, she's, she's a legend. She yeah, really is a legend. But this thing that's coming up, this film, is it's sort of a Thelma and Louise thing, but nobody gets killed. Good. <laughs> Somebody dies, but nobody gets killed. Right. And it's two people who would never meet, who meet by chance. Oh. She, the diva, and me, my usual drudge of a housewife. <laughs> and for reasons which become plain, they go on this road trip together. Mm. And we go and shoot in France, which is rather nice. And there is a, a man in it. Mm. There is a wonderful, handsome Frenchman. Excellent. And I won't tell you which one's going to get him. Well, I'm hoping it's you. <laughs> I'm hoping it's you. I yeah. think you should change it round. I think that you should be the glamour puss and let Joan kind of wear the flat shoes. Well, she does look a bit rough in this because she's an old diva. Right, OK. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the plan... I mean, she'll go for it. I've seen her... She worked with John on Tonight at 8.30 and oh, she did the most right. yeah. amazing yeah, yeah, makeup. Course. She was hardly recognisable. Gosh. And I love her. She's, oh, she's fantastic. She's, she's fantastic. got the energy of... Ten women. I know, it's so remarkable. And for you, Pauline, obviously you're always going to be associated with Shirley Valentine, which is no bad yes, thing. I love it. But is it true that they wanted Cher to do the movie? Yes. When no, <laughs> I love Cher. She's great. I love but, her too. But no, that wouldn't have worked. I like some of her parts. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that wouldn't... Yeah, she has me. Yeah. That wouldn't have worked at but all. Well, you don't, it would have been different. They would have it set would it have in been. America. But lovely Lewis Gilbert, who directed, said, if, it, if I don't have Pauline, I won't make it. Excellent. Good for him. Yeah. Good Isn't that for great? him. No, very much so. And it was a fantastic film. I know, obviously, you did the, the stage show many times, but yeah. it was absolutely brilliant. It really was. So we'll see you as Mrs Gamp, the sort yeah. of gin sodden healer, chancer yes. lady. Yes. And that's tomorrow, 8 o'clock, BBC One? Is it 8 o'clock? Yes. Yeah. Uh, so. Sometimes there are two. Oh, yeah. right. And, and we're getting very good viewing figures. I know. Huge. I know they'll need to do more, mm. which is always a good thing. Polly, it's a joy. Thank you. It's lovely so, to so see much. you again. I and knew. you look... Wonderful. Oh, thank you, you Paul. Thank you so much. <laughs>